Hey boss, check out this new pen idea I had. Not bad. What are you going to call it? I'm calling it the idea house. Good God, this man's a genius. Pens. Today, unsurprisingly, perhaps, we are talking about a Lamy pen. A new Lamy pen. A pen that I frankly wasn't expecting to ever buy when I first saw it released, but I hadn't made a video in a while. I was in my favorite art and pen store, uh, La Vrue, in uh, Paris. It's in the Passage Choiseul. If you're ever in the city, you should absolutely go check it out. They have a great selection of pens from kind of honestly a surprising amount of brands for a mostly art supply store, but they've got, you know, Platinum, Lamy, Sailor, Graf von Faber-Castell, all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I uh, have bought pens from there before. Uh, my Dialog CC is from there. And now my Ideos, Ideos, Ideos. So this is kind of an interesting pen because it fits in a kind of slice of the market that I feel like I don't explore that much where it's like not a beginner pen by any means, but also not a like super, super high end pen. It sits right in that like kind of hundred dollar, 90 euro ish mark. Um, and it has some things going for it and some things I don't particularly like, but it does have some stuff going for it. So let's take a closer look and see how it writes. And now, a brief message from this video's sponsor, Olive Studio Lighting. It's me. I'm the sponsor. Recently, I started an Etsy shop for the lamps I've been designing. All of them are 3D printed by me in France using compostable materials that also happen to plant a tree for every kilo sold, which I thought was pretty cool. I have a few different models available at the moment, so if you've got the time, I'd appreciate you check out the link in my bio. Thank you so much. And let's get back to the pens. All right, so let's take an up close and personal look at the ideas. The first thing you will notice is the overall shape. Is this quite interesting teardrop? It is not a cylindrical pen. Um, and that's kind of the main design deal with this pen. Everything else is, you know, accommodating of that. Um, then the next thing is, you know, as a result of it not being a cylindrical pen, the clip is kind of in an interesting place. It is not really centered. Um, it's kind of off to the side. It's on the flat side of the pen or one of the flat sides, I guess. Um, and it is... A very high polished glossy of course you know even in the like three seconds after recording i managed to get a uh, fingerprint on there very very high gloss uh hinged clip which is nice um very it's a very lamy clip you know they do a lot of hinge clips they do a lot of glossy ones um also in a very lamy fashion it's like super sharp none of the corners are 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 uh you know softened in any way which is Kind of an interesting decision for a clip just because like that's going to interact with you <laughs> somewhat uh, and you're going to have it in your pocket or something ideally or against other valuable objects um you've got the little lamy logo there it looks great um and then you've got at the bottom this is a little interface for the cap to post and i've got some feelings about it it's not my favorite thing in the entire world but uh we'll get to more of that in my opinion uh, let's uncap the pen. So this is a snap cap pen, um, and it reveals what will be the make or break for a lot of people, uh, a very glossy mirror finished grip. Um, it is sort of that same teardrop shape, um, but it transitions down to a circle which is interesting, I guess. 
So the way your fingers sit on it are just kind of almost like a Lamy Safari. It's, it's a tripod grip. But unlike the Safari, which has a flat side at the bottom as well, this has that curved, you know, kind of barrel shape. So I found it interesting in terms of, you know, where your finger is going to sit on the pen. Um, I've had to adjust where I normally place my middle finger uh, because, you know, your thumb and your index have a home, but your middle has less of one than other, you know, more traditional tripod designs. Um, since we're in the neighborhood, uh, we'll take a look at the stainless steel nib. This is the standard feed and everything that goes on all Lamy pens, so this will take any Lamy nib, but it comes with the Ion, or I guess previously Ion styled nib um, with the kind of higher shoulders. I think that was a good call. Um, I don't think this pen would look good with the standard Lamy nib, but uh, I've always had a better writing experience with these for some reason. Maybe they're more consistent, maybe it's just about how the tipping is put on, but these are great. Um, and we'll get to that more in the writing. Now to check out the filling system. So this is another kind of feature of the pen uh, that's interesting is how you open the grip and the barrel. Instead of screwing it, because like how would you fit a screw in this weird shaped barrel and have it not be offset? It's actually a keyed like lock and twist situation. So you gotta like snap it open and then it goes a certain distance and then you can pull it out. Um, this takes either Lamy converter um, or a cartridge, of course, if you felt the need. Um, and then you can see the kind of slot that the uh, little bumps on the grip go into here. Um, and there are the little, uh, you know, interface pieces. Um, what I don't love about this system is that there is a way to do it wrong. You can put it on backwards pretty easily um and like no, i actually don't know will the pen yeah the pen will still cap it'll just have a weird <laughs> little fricked up interaction there um so i mean like i don't really I, I get why this design was done in this way but that doesn't mean i have to like it <laughs> so you always have to remember what side it's going into and then it doesn't feel like i mean it definitely makes a good noise but like um, Stéphane, the, uh, the owner of La Rue and, and pen guy there was telling me that, uh, his display model, um, is already wiggly at the grip. Uh, and I don't, haven't noticed it in mine yet. Um, but uh, you know, it's, it, it bears mentioning that that could potentially happen, uh, where, where that would not happen if it was a screw. And I get why it's not. It's just like, you know, it's a lot of compromises made in the design, in my opinion, in order to, like, like, make this shape. Um, and the shape really isn't bringing all that much to the table, especially if you don't like how the grip feels. I still also don't understand why Lamy insists on making these, these grips. Um, I have never felt anything, m like, more positive than indifference toward them. So that's all I'll say about a chrome grip on a Lamy pen. I'll also mention... Um, the cap snaps on it doesn't it, it doesn't actually click on that nicely it's not a very nice clicky feel um the studio feels a lot nicer pretty much any lamy pen feels nicer snapping on except for like maybe like you know one of the plastic capped pens and even then um it's also like not the cleanest closure like it's not super flush um and definitely there's some side to side wiggle there, which, you know, I get just like tolerances wise, if it was any tighter, it'd probably be scratching the pen itself, but like, not great. Anyway, let's get to writing. So this is the Lamy Ideas. In extra fine. Um, today I'm using Lamy Petrol because I felt it would be appropriate and it's an extra fine nib so I don't feel bad about using all too much of that ink. I'm running pretty low. So let's start. 
So this is some pretty smooth paper, but if you are listening, you'll hear some feedback, um, and that's because the nib has some feedback, um, and that's just, it's not your ears deceiving you. Um, it is not an unpleasant nib by any means. It has a decent amount of flow um, for such a fine nib, which it is very fine. This is a two millimeter grid. Uh, so it's not it's not your standard five millimeters. So it, it you can write really small with it. And that's what I've enjoyed it for. It's nice for drawing, of course. You can do all sorts of little things with it. Um, and the feedback is nice for that use case, I guess, because you, I, I feel as if a feedbacky nib gives you a lot more control over your writing. This is, of course, you know, a very stiff nib. You're not going to get any sort of line variation. That being said, I do get some line variation out of this nib when I'm changing what angle of attack I go with, kind of like a zoom nib. So at a high angle, you're going to get that super fine, very feedbacky line. But at a low angle, it's actually going to be closer to like a standard fine nib which is interesting. Um, I haven't, you know, taken advantage of that fact all too much, but, you know, I don't hate it. And I could see myself using it, I guess. You know, you do your little thicker outline, you know, make it pop off the page, but then I don't write naturally in the, that position. Uh, posted. Posting this pen is not a great experience. You'll see if, if you watch it from the side, it can't really snap on without going off to the side first. Like it won't go just like straight on unless you really force it and that doesn't feel good. And then the pen is just like way long. Um, like it's kind of absurd. So I wish they had just made this pen not postable and just have a nice clean finish to the barrel because it brings me no joy and I'm not even going to write with it posted because who cares uh what you will note also is that we, while I'm writing my cap really can't roll away because it it has a flat side and is got a clip so nice good that's I guess one good part of the design it is not bad I guess you know I don't hate it um it, it's got a decent nib but then like all of, I don't know, it feels like it's, it's like working against itself in a lot of ways. I want to like you, but maybe I don't so much. So you've seen the details of this pen and how it writes. Uh, what is my take on it? This pen feels like a weird studio. Um, it takes a lot of the things that people don't really like about the studio and sort of not really improves them just makes them different um the snap cap feels worse <laughs> than the studio um the grip is i think an improvement but the fact that it holds in so weirdly and and is perhaps not the most acceptable to all grips type of grip uh, might turn some people off to it. Definitely a grip you're going to want to handle in person. Uh, besides that, I think the design is definitely unique, but doesn't yell about how unique it is. Like it's not crazy, it's not gonna draw too much attention, but as soon as you start to look at it, you're like, oh, that's an interesting shape. Um, one thing I'll note that I just don't like at all is the uh, back here. Um, it reminds me of the Lamy Accent, one of my least favorite Lamy pens. Um, just because like, I feel like you have this really nice sculptural shape going that like the clip works with it, the logo's tastefully done, the, the top of the cap is really nice. And then you get back here and it's just like, okay, we need this pen to post for some reason. So you're gonna have a little weird plastic ring and this weird little clicky thing. Where like, yeah, if this pen didn't post, I would be perfectly fine. Like I showed you earlier, this pen becomes really long posted and nobody's holding it back here. There's literally a grip. It's meant for holding, you know. I'm not that pressed about it, to be frank with you. Maybe I'm playing it up for the audience, but I don't know. 
it's it's it just seems like kind of a half measure i think they could have i think they could have made this pen a little bit bolder put a gold nib on it and sold it for like where the scala sits because right now there's nothing competing with that which maybe is what they want but I, I i don't find the scala to be a particularly exciting or popular option when looking at lamy's catalog i'd much rather have a dialogue cc or a lamy 2000 or like it's hard to justify that price whereas this like it brings a little bit more to the table um just it it feels like it could have been in that higher price bracket I'm also surprised to see them have gone for this palladium finish, um, just because I know, having worked at the Lamy store, that for a while, the palladium finished pens were kind of a quality control nightmare. Um, there were like delays on the palladium dialogues in studios for a long time because um, you would get a cap and barrel that just didn't look the same color. Um, and also, they scratch really easily, like really easily, which is a shame. Um, I haven't gotten any scratches on this yet. Is that a lie? Did I just notice one? No, that was just a little bit of, bit of fuzz. So maybe they've improved something. I also haven't carried this pen out that much, so we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll make a little short video uh, addressing that in the future. But yeah, yeah. Um, I don't love this pen. I don't hate it either. I, I knew I was going to like the nib because the ion styled nib in the extra fine has always been really good. Um, and I, you know, I, I do write with this pen somewhat often just because it's a nice nib size. And, and, you know, although I don't love, love, love the grip, I'm getting used to it more and more every day. And that's life, you know? So that about wraps up my thoughts on the Lamy Ion. Not the Ion, <gasps> the Ideos. That about wraps up my thoughts on the Lamy Ideos. Um, I'd like to thank our sponsor again uh, for giving me the opportunity to show off my own product. I'm the sponsor of today's video. Um, if you'd like to check out uh, any of the work I've been doing in my lighting and other such product design stuff um there's the link to my etsy shop in the bio if you want to check out my brother's music who he's made all of the music for my channel for a long time now links down there as well um but yeah look forward to some fun new stuff coming soon from both those things and also from here i have the chance to try out a old wind pen which uh should be here later this week and i'm very excited about that so look forward to that coming soon Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know in some way by liking or subscribing or perhaps even leaving a comment. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.